Ready. Ready to fight. All right, fight clock is moving. We are now underway. It'll be interesting to see how this fight stylistically plays out between the true striker against the low round. This is a big time fight field. People have been pining for this matchup for a really long time. They wanted to see how the striker would handle someone that would try to force them into uncomfortable situations. Let's see how this thing plays out. I'm not sure her striking has ever looked good. Well, she said she was going to go to the takedown early, and she goes right to it, and it's there. So a good sign that she's able to get this fight to the ground where she wants it. She said when and where she decides she was going to be able to secure takedowns. She does exactly that very early in the first round. Swing and a miss with that punch by Nunes. Starting to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. Very nice leg kick there by Durandamy. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? All right, so Amanda Nunes getting off here again as usual. Really as well-rounded a fighter as we have in the men's or the women's game here in 2020. Yeah, regardless of gender, right? Regardless of gender, Amanda Nunes stands amongst the best in the in the entire UFC. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Jermaine Duran. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Man, her striking looks clean tonight. Timing on point. Her timing's on point. Her accuracy's on point. She's very busy. She's in a good flow. Good stick. Nice. Just misses there with the left. There she goes, using her jab effectively yet again. Her opponent's got to raise that guard or this fight could end soon. Well, she's going to have to do something. I think she needs to move her head off the center line because hands go up, the jab goes to the body, then the jab goes to the head. If you start worrying too much about her jab on top, she'll just start pounding that jab right into your midsection, which, which then will just empty the gas tank. Ooh, what a punch. Under a minute now to go in the round. Right hand punch. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Ah, she's unable to connect with the left hook. Beautiful kick. Oh, nice job by her to land the left punch there. Left punch lands over and over again. John, it sounds like we're a broken record. Great punch. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. All right, here we go. Next round is underway. And how about her kicking game in the previous round? My lord. She is so good at just blasting kicks with no regard for what's coming back at her. She's not worried about the counter. She will check the reverse kick. She always moves her head off the center line when she throws kicks, so she is not in any danger of kicking a counter right hand. Nice kick. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Nice job at least staying upright on that. Just missed with the left there. Good punch. Well, there's no denying her power. She has been pretty accurate here tonight, but she's the type of fighter when she goes to the drive through window. She's just getting the sandwich. She's oh, not getting the combo meal. That's embarrassing. <laughs> that's embarrassing. You go and order a sandwich. That allows your opponent to stay in the fight. Give him the entire combo. Buy the french fries. Buy the drink. Really put it on her. Go get her. Extend that combination. Be confident. Go and try to find something that's going to end this fight. Straight punch lands. So 63 total strikes have landed for Jermaine Duran. And connecting at a pretty good rate, DC. 60% accuracy thus far against Amanda Nunes. Oh, 
Oh, she landed the jab there. Is her jab better than yours? Or... It's way better than <laughs> mine. She's so fast and she throws it with ill, ill intent. Good fight here, under two to go. Trying to establish that jab once again. Looks as though her leg might be hurt here, limping a little bit. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here. Fire there, DC, the seminal blow of this fight thus far. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it has her hook in her bag. I mean, this is just exhausting. She is a master manipulator of the side of the octagon from the chest to chest match. 45 seconds remain in the round. In the round. She's been good tonight, but she missed without. Ten seconds to go in the round. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. So she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. As efficient as any striker in the division, this is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, beautiful execution by her there with that knee. We'll see if she follows it up. Really the job of managing space and knowing that she has the right distance to land that knee. Clinch Durandamy's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. While her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end, the ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing it over and over again. She needs to make sure that once she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. That is a fantastic transition by this young lady. What a job. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Again, they will clinch. We'll see how it goes. Oh, how good was that right hand? Beautiful connection by her. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. This is not as dangerous as it used to be in fighting. You know, before, guys are trying to sit in that full guard. Right now, it's just more dangerous for you on top because guys have so many submissions that they can attempt from this position. Oh, nice shot to the body. Connects for her there. Somewhat surprising. We didn't see a lot of body work from her earlier in the fight, but she is getting after it now. Nice entry. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Big right hook attempt, but she misses. All the damage to that leg is tall. You see her limping a little bit. Seconds. Nice straight punch. Nunez gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Big kick. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Unbelievable!
Well, there she is in full celebration mode now after the TKO victory here tonight, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. And I'm not sure there's any 135er in the world right now that can beat this woman. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 18 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO. Unlike the great Israel Adesanya, she doesn't hope and pray. She aims and fires, <laughs> and she is still the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champ. What a great champion that rules atop this division. She's the queen, the queen of the world in one of the UFC's best women's divisions. championship fight of the highest order between Jorge Masvidal and Anthony Showtime Pettis. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Pettis is punched to the body. That one is blocked. Now connects with the right. Oh, misses with the jab. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, for years, Tyron Woodley had said Jorge Masvidal is the best boxer on this UFC roster. Certainly showed you the hands there. DC. I mean, he's showing it, man. I mean, this, I mean, he's showing it, John. This guy has an ability to stand and box with anyone in the UFC. And that was on full display when he was eight years. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nice strike. Oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. Going back to it. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh, massive kick to the head. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Masvidal gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. So just go for oh, like that leg you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. 
big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Gamebred gets absolutely melted by that. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Second round underway. Oh, straight right. Oh, that's a big right hand there from Game Bread. Boxing fundamentals, certainly not an issue for this guy. Very tight. He's as sound as they come, right? A lot of times you see a guy that comes from a street fighting background, and they wing everything. They try to knock everyone out with every strike. Masvidal does not do that. He takes his time, finds and picks his spots. That's why he's getting the finishes that he gets now. Well, oh! Two's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. See if he can finish. Good right here. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. So we call on the numbers here. These are unofficial, but 42 total strikes have landed for Anthony Pettis. And connecting with 48. Oh, that's right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on beat street right now. He's seeing three birds over the top of his head. If you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly leg. Left hand punch with the clinch. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice body. Oh, man, look what that one body shot did. That shows you the power, and the power in the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Oh, straight right. with one of those knees to the body. Oh! Big kick land. On that punch right there, his opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll oh. as this fight goes up. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Out of range with that one. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. What a round. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, that's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Damage on the right side of his body, starting to really bruise now. While the numbers continue to pile up, 74 total strikes have landed for Anthony Showtime Pettis. And unofficially landing with 51% accuracy against Jorge Masvidal. Nice one, two there. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Gamebred gets caught with that punch. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relatives. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. 
Oh, that is a killer jab there from Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Wow. And just like that, the fight is over. Holy smokes! What a fight! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. So there he is, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. What a finish he turned in here tonight as he gets it done by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 39 seconds of round number 3. Join the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Anthony Chokla Pena. And new UFC welterweight champion. Those words sound good. He's going to enjoy watching this one back. There's a new king at 170 pounds. There is nothing better than hearing and new. It's almost like the weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. The journey is complete. You are now the UFC champion. Next, our main event, a matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Beautiful strike. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Left hand punch from the clinch. That knee might have landed there. Straight left counter finds its own. Right hand upstairs. I mean, over and over, he's taking these strikes to the head. Just out of range with that right hand. Striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is the technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. Oh, collar tie. That's a big strike right there. Flipped him with the right hand there. Lands another punch to the head. And both guys really throwing with authority. Sage work here defensively. Double leg takedown, no good. Left hand punch to the clinch. And he landed the right hand there. Nicely done as he gets the double leg takedown. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. 
Oh, these are some serious punches from the top here. He's continuing to maintain good posture and making these strikes count. He's doing a really good job of watching pretty up and making the count while not putting himself in danger. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, Sean? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. He clicks the guard, lands the right hand. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serves him up. Go get him. Oh! St. Pierre's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but... Shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed the good Man, is he timing his shot. Oh. He's like that left hand. He's got him hurt here. Takedown defense holds up. Boy, Ty Plum. Man, a huge shot lands there, DC. He's landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh. What a fantastic strike. To throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Right on the button. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, oh look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Close guard, keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Switching stances here. Two rounds in the books. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. What a punch. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors just played a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at 26 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So off the record, you'd like the champion to get it done tonight, and that is how it...
up next, a matchup for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well that they have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Let your hands go. Let Just misses go. with the punch by Bojovic. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression of right. the opponent. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one up. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Just misses with that one. Bumper cut lands for him. Big knee to the body. Nice sneaky head kick. Nice leg kick land. Oh, big punch land. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh! Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Lands flush with that right hand. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Jan Wachowicz. Nice punch lands over the top. seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Big body kick. Big punch land. Ooh. Let's get some offense. Let's get Big right hand lands. His lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. And just inches away. Oh. Got the tie clinch. 
Ooh, now he's got the Thai plum, Daniel. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got his double. Beautiful kick. High-level guard pass there as he moves into half court. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Boy, Ty Plump. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He missed with that jab attempt there. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Blahovic gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. I mean, this is his game here. He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. And what a round! Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Nice one, two there. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds. Beautiful diving strike lands. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do next. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Blahovich's lower jaw, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Keep moving, keep moving. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. With two minutes and change to go in round three. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, side control now. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the mat. Now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat, and he's out. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Back mount now, under the neck. Oh, and now he flattens him out, DC. A couple hooks in. This could be trouble. Look at all that hip pressure he has into his opponent's back. Now he'll start to rain down brutal ground and pop. And you better intelligently defend here. This could be the beginning of the end. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. 
All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. And as effective a straight punch as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, big left. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's attacking it on it. He's gonna attack armbar here. And he's out. I mean, how many can he take? Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Blahovic. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands being a veteran in so many fights. As long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is, the king of the 205ers, the UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, and no better way to get the job done than he did tonight by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 10 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion So just like that, we have a new UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, and it's always interesting to digest this result when we have a challenger come in and, and shake up the entire division. Especially when it's a guy like this, a guy that can talk the talk, but also walk the walk. He isn't a guy that's going, I'm so humble, I'm so cautious, I'm so respectful. No, he tells you what he's gonna do, and he gets the job done tonight. He becomes the king of the world, the UFC champion. a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Nice. Right up the elbow, the body kick lane. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Kick there by the Predator, Francis Ngannou. Oh, he's hurt. He's in trouble. He's 
and his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Nice punch, man, over the top. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the title. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Francis Ngannou. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, nice. Single collar tie now. And he comes through with a big knee. Just misses with the jab. Nice hook. That one landed clean. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Nice, you got this round. You have a minute left. Under a minute to go. Ganu's uppercut, but that one is blocked. Just misses with the jab there. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Nice loop of punch. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive move. Round two here. He loaded up on that right hand, too. That kick blocked by Ngannou. Oh! He needs to start looking. Ooh. 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 Serve him up. Go get him. to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Oh, big left hook there! Circling to his right. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Ngana. Oh, huge strike hands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, he might be out. Straight right, he misses. Good punch, Lance. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Try to establish that jab. Huge block there. Continues to work out of that top clinch. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat streak. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Punch oh. to the top. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish this fight. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Slips the punch nicely there. Oh, big left. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Chase that finish 
sports biggest stage he comes up large the baddest man on the planet the ufc heavyweight champion of the world your winner and by knockout here tonight ladies and gentlemen referee herb deans called to stop this contest at one minute six seconds of round number three declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed ufc heavyweight champion the new UFC heavyweight champion, DC. I remember when that was your reality. I'm not sure I've ever seen you so emotional in the octagon. I mean, I was so excited. He could take a breath, but he better turn right around yeah. and yeah. focus on what's right behind him because there are sharks in the water. The moment that belt changes hands, a lot of guys will be looking to take it from him, but congratulations to the champion.